Well, this news has been out for some time, but you know what? It is breaking news to somebody, and that is the Detroit Lions have announced roster moves. Now, some of these we already knew and expected, and some are a little bit of a surprise. According to the Detroit Lions Twitter, it says Lions announced roster moves, place linebacker Derek Barnes, and defensive lineman Marcus Davenport on injured reserve, sign wide receiver Tim Patrick to the active roster, and sign defensive back Maurice Norris to the practice squad. Now, we kind of knew that, let's take these one at a time. When it comes to Derek Barnes, Dan Campbell said the other day in, in yesterday's press conference that it would be some time, and that some time turned into a minimum of four weeks. Now, we can keep Derek Barnes for a minimum of four weeks, but once he returns, that's going to count as one of the eight. Now, you get eight elevations from IR and it's 10 if you make the postseason. Now, as far as Marcus Davenport, we knew that was coming, that he was going to be out for the season. So that's unfortunate. We also knew that the Detroit Lions signed Tim Patrick with the thought process of bringing him to the 53-man roster. I'm sure he didn't think he was going to get there this way, but this is how we get wide receiver number five. So now we officially have five wide receivers on the active roster. We've got Jamison Williams, Khalif Raymond, Isaiah Williams, Amon Ross St. Brown, and now Tim Patrick makes wide receiver number five. And I'm going to tell you the truth, man. I'm hoping that he can be everything that we think he can. He can go back to those Denver days, man. That would be solid. He will be a big option, a big target for Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions, and maybe he can take on that Josh Reynolds role. I know a lot of people are sick of me talking about it, but the stats, the numbers don't lie. No, they don't tell the full story, but they they also tell a big part, and we are missing that red zone target. We are missing that big body. We are missing a, a, that possession guy, and hopefully Tim Patrick can be that. Now, as far as uh, defensive back Maurice Norris, we actually worked him out before Sunday's game, like later last week, but I didn't hear anything about it, and I didn't decide. I decided not to make a video about it, but he's been on this team already, so he is back, and that's no doubt due to the injuries that we've taken in the secondary. So these guys are, some are back to the Detroit Lions. Now, what does that mean for, because this means two people went on injured reserve, and I think that we had... 53 on the active roster so if you minus two add one that makes 52 we still have a spot on the active roster for that so i'm very curious as to what's going to happen now what we have what you did not see in there was a replacement for marcus davenport that's what you didn't see we also don't have a replacement for as far as bringing a practice squad linebacker up to replace Derek Barnes. So we did bring Tim Patrick up again, and he is going to take the place of Derek Barnes, let's say, as far as roster spot. And then we also, now we don't have that body though. So who's going to take the Marcus Davenport spot? Is it going to be, I don't know, are we going to bring somebody up? There's a guy on the 53 man roster that I'm going to make a video about either today or tomorrow that you guys are not going to like. But I think at this point, we all have, have seen it. And Dan Campbell spoke on it today, but I'll save that for another video. So let me know your thoughts. I'm excited that Tim Patrick is here. That means no more elevations. And it kind of worked out because Tim Patrick had one more elevation than somebody was going to have to get waived. So somebody on the Detroit Lions dodged a bullet, a figurative bullet by not having to get waived because of the injury to Marcus Davenport, which essentially wiped out a spot and opened that up. But now you still have the spot that was vacated by Derek Barnes for a short term. So I'm excited to see Tim Patrick. Uh, I believe he is the tallest receiver on the team in the in the in the lineup, like on the active 53 man roster. So I'm excited, man, to see if he can do what he was doing in the preseason for Denver and go back to the years be, before he got hurt, because we need that. I think if we get that that offense, I think Tim Patrick and now being in the game like he, he doesn't have to worry about getting elevated or anything like that. And it's crazy because Dan Campbell said he looks at this as a 69 man roster. That, yes, it's 53 on the active roster, but those 16 players on the practice squad eventually will have to get caught on. It's crazy he said that, and it's crazy that it is happening this early in the season. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Prayers up to Derek Barnes and Marcus Davenport. 
I know I gave him a lot of a lot of strife and, and stuff like that, but these guys are human, man. Hopefully they bounce back. Marcus Davenport, real talk. We'll probably see him next year knowing how Brad Holmes does things. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember, this channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.